We believe in freedom, can love rest. We believe in freedom, can love rest. Please welcome Harry Belafonte, Holly Near, Bernice Johnson Regan, and Pete Seeger. I talk now about the danger of silence in a democracy in almost every concert and talk about the fact that it, people are too quiet and that they have to talk about what they are thinking everywhere. And then we sing songs around it and songs that say no. And when people sing the song, they put in the song almost like an end to the silence. And uh, so we do a lot of go to lay down my sword and shield down, down by the river, way down by the river, way down by the river, side of go to lay down a sword and shield way down by the river, side and go long an activist before I became an artist. When I became a singer, Paul Robes he said to me in one of his earliest councils, he said, Harry, the best that can happen to you is that you can get them to sing your song. And if you can get them, meaning the people, the public, the world at large, if you can get them to sing your song, they will come to know who you are. Deo, Deo, daylight come and me want go home. De, me say 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 de, Deo, daylight come and me want go home. Work at night and I drink a rum. Daylight come and me want. Stack banana till the morning come. Daylight come and we want to go home. I live six and seven and eight and bunch. Daylight come and we want to go home. Six and seven and eight and bunch. Daylight come and we want to go home. De, me say 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 de. Daylight come and we want go home. Through the decades of 200 years, you can see how people have used songs to push an idea. And it's most common to put new words to old tunes. Woody Guthrie did it. I'm sure it's been done throughout the ages. Uh, Joe Hill did it. And it was a, a pop song of 1913 uh, was uh, The Girls They Go Wild Over Me. And uh, they uh, had a wobbly song. Oh, the judge, he went wild over me. <laughs> and he locked me up and threw away the key. <laughs> it seems to be the rage they like to keep me in a cage. They go wild, simply wild over me. <laughs> And I think now that often some of the greatest protest songs might be a, simply an old hymn that suddenly takes on a new meaning, mm -hmm. like Amazing Grace, uh, which was made up, the words were made up about two and a half centuries ago, and then put to an American tune around 1830 down south, and then it spread and spread. And I've known occasions when this has been a very much of a song saying, yes, we can change this world. Mm -hmm. Because the man who made up the words had been a slave trader, captain of a slave ship. And he turned his own life around 
And if he can do that, we can turn our lives and turn the world around. The song of hope. I sometimes question the word protest song because in what I hear each of us have done in our lives and other singers is not only to raise an objection to how things are, but the best songs also introduce solution. a solution or an option or a path to follow. What to me makes a, a brilliant uh, political song is that it it states perhaps what the problem is, but it lifts people up to some sort of vision of what might, what they might do first and foremost to change themselves, and then by that internal process, that inter change the world. I was walking down a street and I noticed a father's frustration and he reached down and hit his three-year-old daughter for not walking fast enough. Well, there's only so fast little three-year-old legs can go. And I was overwhelmed by this violence, and a voice inside me kept saying, come on, Holly, say something, do something. You know how to do intervention. Let this child know that inappropriate behavior has just taken place. But instead, some weighty silence came over me, and right across the street, there was um, a black man with long dreadlocks and a bright colored shirt. I see him standing there, and he began dancing in the street and singing, don't hit the baby, don't hit the baby. And I said, yes, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Something changes in me when I witness someone's courage. They may not know I'm watching and I may not let them know. But something changes in me that will last me for a lifetime. Fill me when I'm empty and rock me when I'm low. Something changes in me anytime there's the strongest way that I can talk about protest music, it's somehow flying in the face of forces that would say you don't have the right to be. And centering yourself somehow so that you're connected to the energy in the universe that is never broken as long as there is life. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. The only dynamic that gives us any chance in being able to compete with the imperial thrust is the dynamic of culture. Culture is the only force, because in culture you can only bring tongue to articulate thought and passion, but culture can also translate morality. Let it
Sing.